jobs rely on, and uh, I will always focus on delivering that as one of my most important responsibilities. Prime Prime Minister, Minister, would, you, would you accept uh, the innovation of cryptocurrencies to ease some of that uh, inefficiency in the banking sector? No, I don't think that's the answer. Do I, I don't. No, I don't. I mean, I, I looked a lot at, you know, when I was Treasurer at cryptocurrencies. Um, I mean, what we have is a new payments platform in Australia which provides 24-7 settlement. It's the biggest change in our, our, our payment rail system that Australia has seen for decades and decades. We've been uh, heavily involved in ensuring that, uh, this is a bit off topic I suppose for a few of the others, but let me be nerdy for a sec going back to my Treasury portfolio, um, but what has been done with distributed ledger technologies and blockchain uh, working in the financial sector, that's going to open up massive opportunities. I mean, the consumer data right, the open banking reforms that we're putting in place and that legislation will be coming forward, that's going to transform the Australian banking system. But the thing I like about it most is it's going to deliver much tougher competition for the big banks. And business as usual for the big banks won't be continuing under the sort of reforms that I've been introducing as Treasurer and now as Prime Minister to ensure that smaller banks, uh, new banks can come in, and new technologies can be used to give greater power to customers. I want greater customer power in our economy, whether it's in electricity prices or whether it's in banking. Uh, that's my agenda. I believe in it and my team believes in it and Australians can trust me on it. Thanks very much. You know.